Now subscribe to Bright Duty course at rupees one per day only. Download Bright Duty app from Play Store and get the online courses prepared by competent and experienced teachers for different education boards of classes six to ten. Bright Duty courses are available for the subjects of Math, Science, Social Science, English, and Hindi in English and Hindi medium. Bright Duty follows three-step approach that is learning, assessment, and exam preparation. In learning, topic-wise video lectures with explanation of concepts and discussion of textbook examples and questions are available with the solutions. In assessment, topic-wise online MCQ test, practice assignments, and chapter-wise question bank are available with the solutions. In exam preparation, previous year's question papers, sample papers, and model test papers are available with the solutions. Sign up today on Bright Tuesday and avail your courses at affordable prices. Which is going to come handy. So I cannot just jump to the, uh, the game. I will definitely make you all make a game before we end. So we still have today, Friday, and Monday. We still have three sessions. So I will try and cover as much as I can in Scratch. Um, Anvesha, with it, I have duplicate. I have opened your projects on my screen. I will see them once the class is over. So, like I said, last class we did how to add more than one backdrop, change the backdrop, and we learned how to show and hide. So, let me just add uh, one backdrop right now. The plain one looks very. So, this is where we add the backdrop. I just pick something. Okay, please. Now I want to show. We also have. So till now we have uh, seen. We have explored motion. We have explored looks and events. We haven't gone to the other blocks, right? Okay. But we will now look at sound. So many of you all had used sound in your uh, projects. So for every sprite, there are there is a default. So the sprite you pick up from scratch, there is a default sound already there. So suppose uh, my cat is walking and it is talking. So I want to make that meow sound. Obviously, the cat sounds talks like meow. Looks is going to give me the hello or whatever it wants to say. How are you? So everyone's been wishing me good evening, and a lot of y'all are asking how are you. So you can say good evening for two seconds. You can use another block for how are you. But that is just the speaking part. So, what if I want to give a sound? When you go to sound, because this is a cat, the default sound over here is meow. So I can say play a sound meow one two time. Now, what if I want to add another sound? Then I click on meow. I have an option of recording my own voice. So you can have two sprites talking to each other, and you can modulate your own voice and make them talk. So you can record your own voice. Obviously, you have to give the permission to your computer to let use your mic. When you when this opens, when you do it for the first time, it will ask, uh, "Are you uh, the scratch will is it allowed to use your microphone?" If you say yes, only then when you can record. So now, if I record my voice, "Good evening, how are you?" I stop it. I can play and see. Good evening, how are you? Now I save it. So now this sound is over here as recording one. I can always use the recording one. So I'll go to my sound. This in play sound when I have me out, I will say no. Use recording one. So I can use either or. We've not even tested me out. So let me just show me out first. So very basic. So that is me out. Now, like I said, if I want to speak, I want to speak. I want to record my voice. Good evening. How are you? So that also is possible. Another possibility is to go to sounds. Like we have code, we have costumes. We also have something called sound. So if we go to sound, we can add a sound. Like we choose a sprite. Like we choose a backdrop. We have something where we can choose default sound. Again, record. Surprise sound or upload a sound. Everything is possible. So when I go to choose a sound, these are the sounds I have from uh, by default. Effects, loops, different, different. When I go to 
different sounds. If I want. I want to put a car horn. And then I go here. There are three things. Meow is all default. Recording is what I did. Car horn is which I just added. So I want to add a car horn. Obviously, it's not making any sense. I'm right now just trying to teach you how to use sound. So you can even stop all sounds. You can change the pitch, set the pitch, clear sound effects, change volume, set the volume. Depends. Depends on your creativity, what you want to do. What if I use this volume and I pick it, then you can see it on the screen on top. If you want to show the volume, you will tick it over here. Then this will be visible on your screen every time. So if you don't want to show it, you just untick this and it is going to go away. So if you're making a sound project where you the sound decibels play a part, then you can show it. Like I said, it depends on your creativity. So that is one new thing I wanted to teach you. Another thing which we, I want you to learn is so again, we have done motion, we learned looks, we just explored sounds. We've already seen events. We have seen in control, we have all the loops, if, repeat, all those. Now let's see what is sensing. So by the name of it, sensing means it senses. So when you go to sensing, you have these blocks. So how do we use these blocks? Now, let me add a sprite first. So suppose I add a ball. I had a ball. Last time's uh, project, you saw I had I. It's a little slow. Oh, I don't know why the ball didn't come. Let me just get it again. Ah, it's come. Okay, so like last time, you remember the cat? I showed you another project where the cat was reaching the ball. Once it reached, I had to time it, and then the cat was kicking the ball. There is something called sensing. Again, there are two types of sensing. One. Touching a particular, touching the mouse pointer, or when I click on mouse pointer, and say, let me get this mouse pointer here, this block. When I click on mouse pointer, I have an option of touching edge, that means the end of the screen, anywhere, end of the screen, or touching sprite one. Now, what is sprite one? Oh, okay, so remember, I am in the ball sprite right now. Sprite one is my cat. So I can even use touching the any other sprite or touching mouse pointer or touching the edge. That is one sensing. The other sensing is touching a particular color. And the third one is one color touching the other color. So there are three kinds of sensing which we can use. So now I want to say that I will go to my cat and I will say, let me use it touching yellow color. Then. I want you to, okay, let me choose another color for the ball because my cat is also a little orange and my ball is also orange. I'm not very really happy about it. So let me choose purple. It's not matching anything else. Oh. Now when I go to my cat, I want to say, let my cat walk. So let's go to like we've coded earlier, repeat block. So we'll not use a car horn because meow sounds better for the cat. And if you don't want to use it right now, we will just say hello, how are you? And Actually, hello, if how are you? Cat is randomly speaking. Let's not bother about it. We will go to motion. We will say move 10 steps. So my cat is walking. Now I want to say only when my cat is touching the ball, then kick it. First, let's see if it's touching the ball when it walks. So I'm not giving the costume, so it's not touching. Okay, let me get the ball a little closer. So now in the cat, oh, I forgot to give the Important block. Remember before we move, what do we always use? For those who remember and are talking about the fifth block, in motion, before moving the cat, I need to fix its position, the coordinates. So those who know it, pat your backs. You have to fix the position of the cat, the beginning of the coordinates. So every time we move, that is going to touch. Perfect. So anyways, I've moved it a little, so I'll move the ball. I've not fixed the ball position. So let me just go and fix the ball position. 
as well. Green flag click, this is the ball position. Now if I click, it's gonna reach. So now it's not reaching immediately. When I press the green flag, it's not gonna touch. So now I want to use sensing. So I will use if block. Inside the if block, if you see, this is an hexagonal block if. So I want to use if touching. Instead of mouse pointer, I'll use ball. Okay, what if I say play sound? Let's see. So I have said only when it touches. Let me give a little bit of weight so that you understand that it is not playing, it is not touching uh, immediately. Let me even add an extra costume. It looks better. One second is too much, so we'll reduce that. Now let it walk like it was walking. So it's not speaking me out. The minute it touches the ball, I have given if touching ball, play sound me out. So it did. Now what if I want to say uh, touching color I want to use. So let's remove touching ball. I will go to sensing. I will get touching. But how do I make sure, let's see if this works. It's not working. Because if you see, this is not matching the correct shade. So I need to make sure that it matches the shade of the ball. So when you click on this color, there are various options. Now how do I decide how much color, saturation, brightness? It is difficult to decide. So they have given a very important thing over here to use a dropper. That is called a dropper. Like if you paint, it's like a dropper. You select when you're painting, even when you're using poster colors. I want to make pink, then I get red and I get, then depending on how much I want to mix, I get another white color and drop it into red and I mix it. So that's the logic of dropper. Now in this case, I will take the dropper. When you, once you click on the dropper, your screen color changes. You can see when you take your mouse pointer to your this screen, your scratch screen, there is a square in the middle, if you can see. There is a square. I am talking about this particular square, which you can see in this, in this big circle, that square. So wherever your square is pointing, it is going to select that particular color. It's like a magnifier. See, you can see currently my circle is covering three different colors, green, yeah, blue, and that orange, even the black, in fact. But my center square is on green. And you can see this part is green, the outer covering of this circle. And my square is also on green. That means I'm picking the green color. Now, if I uh, leave this drop, I click on OK. So if I say, oh, see, right now it's color selected black. Now I clicked on green, it selected green. Same way if I take the dropper and I slowly take it on orange and I click, click it, it will take orange. But what color do I want? I want the ball color. So I need to make take my dropper to the ball. Even if I take it this much, half green and half on purple, my outer circle is purple because my center square is on purple. So even if I click it here, it will select the desired color. Now if I play it, Oh, the sound is still not coming. That means my cat is touching. Now, this is also like, this is also like coordinates where uh, we, we feel it is touching. Now, how do I explain? There are phases. My ball, cat is reaching the ball, but it is actually not on the same coordinate. I feel it is touching because of a 2D thing. This is not 3D, right? So I feel it is touching, but it is not actually touching. So that means I need to delete it and I can need to get my ball again. So let me just get another ball and try it. Need to change the costume. Choose another color of the, the purple color which we used. Let me get the ball down. I'm not sure even if this will work. I need to test it because it should touch it on the same face. <laughs> So that means it is touching it on the same phase. Earlier I had added the ball and I had moved it. So it wasn't working. But now the cat quotes, when it's touching this purple color, it is sounding. So we learned two kinds of sensing. One, touching a particular sprite. Second, touching a particular color. Now, subscribe to Bright Duty course at rupees one per day only.
Download Bright Duty app from Play Store and get the online courses prepared by competent and experienced teachers for different education boards of classes 6 to 10. Bright Duty courses are available for the subjects of Math, Science, Social Science, English and Hindi in English and Hindi medium. Bright Duty follows three-step approach that is learning, assessment and exam preparation. In learning, topic-wise video lectures with explanation of concepts and discussion of textbook examples and questions are available with the solutions. In assessment, topic-wise online MCQ test, practice assignments and chapter-wise question bank are available with the solutions. In exam preparation, previous year's question papers, sample papers and model test papers are available with the solutions. Sign up today on Bright Tuesday and avail your courses at affordable prices.